Hey everyone, so today I filmed something a little bit different. Um, it's a wee bit quirky. It's like a St. Patrick's Day themed green and gold um, eye look with a little bit of glitter. Glitter tears, Andre glitter, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really enjoyed making this look. It's just something a bit different. Like, it's a bit boring doing bases and brows all the time. So I wanted to do something that wee bit quirkier. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. So let's get real. This is my life. I live in a gym hoodie. But we're not going to let that distract us from the makeup. Um, wearing the Body M Matte Me Up Lip Kit in shade Go To. Um, I've had this on for a few hours. I've been eating and drinking. It's not too bad. I do notice a wee bit of like the butthole that's going on. So I'm going to top it up as well before I'm finished. So, I haven't really planned this out too much. I'm just gonna wing it, see how it goes. So I've already got my base applied and my eyebrows and my eyelids primed. I'm gonna take my Morphe 350 palette and I'm gonna start with this like, would you call it like a peel olive color? Yeah, we'll go with that. With my MAC 224, I'm gonna zoom. all the way across um, the lid because I'm going to carve out part of the lid. looking quite brown to me in camera so it'll be interesting to see what it's like when I'm editing it. But and then my um, Zoeva 227 and my Morphe 35C palette I'm going to take this um, quite dark green colour. My hair is crazy. So I'm just blending um, all that like, green out with a wee bit of like the olivey colour just so it's nice and seamless, my favourite word, seamless. This looks a bit crazy but it will come together. And some Makeup Geek Envy. Seven. In the outer corner. To darken everything up a wee bit. So just obviously placing it and then blending. Now this shade does have a wee bit of, like, of a sheen off it. Um, but I don't really mind that that much. So I'm actually going to take a wee bit of the Envy on a so we have a 228 brush. Which is like quite a big fluffy brush but it's more pointed than a 224 and I'm going to just bring that over the crease slightly because I'm really liking the colour of it so like my brush is barely touching my lid and it's still placing product I've just been really really light handed with it Then go in, in with my Zoeva 227 and I'm just blending out the edges. To carve out my lids, I'm going to use the Collection Concealer as I don't think I have brought my set cover up home. 
So pop them some onto the back of my hand. Take my MAC 252 brush. Making my brush like nice and flat. Always um, tilting my head backwards so I can see the line of my lid and I'm going to go slightly above that. I'm going to use this um, like boning colour and just a wee flat brush. I'm going to just go along that line with my Zoeva 228 and no additional product and just blend that slightly. I'm going to put um, MAC Melon Pigment. So MAC Melon Pigment, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. For pigment, I'm going to use a flat brush and fix the plus. And with a wee bit of that green just to fuse it all together so it doesn't look like too much of a line Top eyeliner, I'm going to use my Maybelline Lasting Drama and my Zoeva 317 as usual. On the bottom I'm going to use the Maybelline Last and Drama Gel Pencil and this is in, I think it's just green, let's see, this is in the shade Crushed Emerald. I'm going to use it to line my bottom waterline. I'm 
took a wee bit of the olive colour from the Morphe 35 o palette. Just buff it in. Pencil brush from Zoeva. I'm going to take more of the Makeup Geek Envy. Really smoke that into the bottom lash line. Mommy. Yes, dear. I want you to get round. So I'm gonna do like glitter tears or glitter below the eye, whatever you want to call it. Just um, so I think I'm gonna do a wee bit of gold glitter below the eyes. Um, I actually seen one of the girls from the Makeup Pro store where she put down a little bit of a pigment first and then put the um, glitter on top of it. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna take a Morphe M433 brush with a wee bit of the Mac Melon pigment again. And I'm just gonna really lightly sweep that where I'm gonna put my glitter. This wee chippy brush. Um, for glitter. So I'm just going to spray Fix Plus. So I don't want the glitter to be too full on and chunky. The glitter I'm going to use is the Makeup Atelier. And it is it is PL06. Just lightly pressing that on. A wee bit more pigmented. Use a wee bit of the Lip Cosmetics um, glitter glue. At the top, I'm going to stick a couple of these larger dark green glitters. Glue just up there where I want them to stick. Actually, I actually might bring them on down. my brow bone with a wee bit of Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer and this is the Weaver 234 brush. Uh, so in bits I got this miniature of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Try it out today, absolutely love it. Yes Aiden. What's wrong? Do you need the remote? I'll get it now in two seconds, okay? So you could definitely adapt this look for a festival by just changing up the colours and using the same sort of technique. I'm actually going to stick on some Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, they're not in the packet, they're just old ones that I have lying about the house. So they have loads of like, glue and everything on them. Gorge. Thank you. 
as I brought my lash glue. The lash glue that I use is the Ardell Duo and I actually use the black one um, because it means that you don't have to chop up your eyeliner or go over your lash band. So I put my lash glue on and then moving on to the next lash, putting it on. One of these might just be a wispy and the other's a demi wispy. But sure, they look fine. They look, they look fine, it's fine. My lashes in the middle on a pair of tweezers. Just the slight difference that lashes make, like, obsessed. look um i hope you really enjoyed it um it's just for a wee bit of fun like i'm obviously not going to go over, like outside in st patrick's day wearing this in the public um it would be completely suitable if you were going to a festival or something but as always make sure to give my video a big thumbs up if you like it subscribe for more videos and comment below with videos you would like to see in the future and i will see you the next time bye